People everywhere are waking up to the urgent threat posed by climate change. To prevent the worst, every corner of the world, no matter how big or small, needs to do its part. So what's our plan? In the big picture, all provinces are part of Canada's commitments under the Paris Climate Accords. By cutting greenhouse gas emissions, countries hope to keep the global temperature rise below 2 degrees Celsius, a threshold for climate disaster. Recent reports say Canada is warming twice as fast as the global average. From the year 2000 to 2050, temperatures in Newfoundland are projected to rise by two and a half to three degrees in the summer, three and a half to five degrees in the winter. In Labrador, warming will be even more severe. Northern communities will be transformed by climate change with winters more than seven degrees hotter. With those temperatures, hurricanes and tropical storms will hit us harder and more often. Wildfires will burn bigger, hotter, and longer. And if that sounds bad, scientists say things will be much, much worse unless we take serious and immediate action. Currently, Newfoundland and Labrador emits more than 10 million tons of CO2 and other greenhouse gases each year. In 2007, we committed to cutting a million tons by 2020, a commitment we will badly miss. Our next target is to cut more than 3 million tons by 2030. Most of our greenhouse gas emissions come from two sources, transportation, including our cars, trucks, boats, and plane rides, and large industry, including offshore oil. Making reductions in these areas means putting a price on carbon. We're already paying that price every time we go to the pumps. Today, the gas tax is about four and a half cents a liter, but it's set to rise each year. Large industries must either cut emissions by specific and escalating amounts each year or purchase greenhouse gas reduction credits from government. Together, these moves are projected to reduce emissions by more than 650,000 tons. Not bad, but it's still a long way from our goal. So what else are we doing? The province's new climate change action plan outlines a range of strategies, getting cleaner vehicles on the road, incentives for businesses to upgrade equipment, retrofitting our homes and buildings, designing smarter communities, and raising public awareness of environmental issues. When Muskrat Falls comes online, electricity in this province will come almost entirely from renewable sources, achieving a significant cut in emissions. On the other hand, government wants to double offshore oil production in the next 10 years, adding more emissions to provincial and national totals. When you put it all together, we're still a long way from where we need to be. Government admits the scale of the required long-term reduction in greenhouse gas emissions is enormous. It will require the development and application of technologies that do not exist today. So we have a plan, but there's a big gap between our goals and our knowledge of how to achieve them. Meanwhile, time to prevent catastrophic climate change is running out.